Well, each year, millions of Americans decide to roll over their 401k accounts. Analysts say this is the single largest transaction that you will ever make. So it's important to do it right. And investment advisor Brian Myro joins us today live. Brian, in 2020, more than 5.6 million Americans rolled a combined $618 billion into IRAs. For people trying to decide what to do with their 401k, what are some questions they should consider? Well, Nicole, you know, thanks for having me today. You know, there's a lot of things you want to pay attention to when you're making changes. You know, the first thing you want to do is you want to look at the fees that you're paying on your 401ks and compare that to what you might pay in an IRA account. You know, you also want to look at the investment choices in your 401k. Your investment choices are limited inside your 401k versus virtually unlimited choices available in an IRA account. And also having multiple 401k accounts scattered amongst multiple employers can be complicated and can create a challenge in coordination. Now, IRAs generally offer more control over the amount and the frequency of your withdrawals than 401ks do, especially if you're taking advantage of tax strategies to reduce your taxes. This is huge. You know, a rollover to an IRA can give you more flexibility and options and give you more control over your money and reduce more rules when you take your money out. And also, future tax planning is critical. Forward-thinking tax planning could be the difference between having retirement success or having retirement failure. Brian, is a 401k rollover the single largest transaction that many people will make? And what is the importance of getting it guidance before taking such a major move for your retirement uh, savings? Well, Nicole, according to analysts and the IRA data, you know, for many, it's the largest financial tra transaction that someone's going to make in their lifetime. This is why it's critical to get good advice and understand all your options in order to make the most informed decisions. We find that so many times out there, there's just not enough help or education within employer-sponsored plans like 401ks. And this is especially true when it comes to government employer plans like your thrift savings plans. Now, for those who are preparing to retire with a 401k or a TSP and Social Security benefits, what else could they consider when creating their plan for retirement? Well, Nicole, one of the first questions folks ask is, is do we have enough? You know, that's the big question you have to address. You know, income planning is critical here, and you must build your monthly income plan for the rest of your life. Now, Social Security is many times a large part of that income. And you want to make sure you do a Social Security analysis to make sure that you turn on your benefits at the right time for you. Now, how do you help someone determine if they have enough and if they're ready, if they're ready to retire? Well, Nicole, everybody's situation is different. And the first thing we do is look at their dreams and their goals. And we figure out what their ideal retirement's going to look like. Then we can compile a retirement analysis, which can answer the big question of, do we have enough? Now, Nicole, we'll do that free of charge for any of our viewers today. And we will also run a Social Security analysis free of charge for any of our viewers today as well. And Nicole, one more thing that will help everybody. I'm offering a free complimentary copy of my book titled Smart Money for the Backside of Life for anyone wanting to set a visit. Now, in my book, I discuss many different aspects of retirement that folks deal with on the backside of their life. All you have to do is text RETIRE to 915-233-2904 for your free retirement and tax analysis. You can set a visit to receive a copy of Brian's new book, Smart Money for the Backside of Life. You can also visit their website online. It's www.myrocapital.com slash TV. Brian, as always, thanks for joining us. Nicole, thanks again for having me today.